Bubble Sort Bubble Sort is an algorithm used to sort an array of elements. So let's see how the Bubble Sort algorithm works with an example. This is my array and these are the indexes. As you can see, the elements in the array are not sorted. We want to sort this array in ascending order. So what bubble sort does is, it's going to try to push the largest element to the last index. So how is it going to go about pushing the last element to the last index or the greatest element to the last index? This algorithm will compare the elements two at a time. So first let's compare these two. 7 and 2. 7 is greater than 2 and so should come to the right of 2. So this is not the correct order in which these two elements are at. So what are we going to do? 7 is greater than 2, therefore swap. So let's see how the array looks after having swapped. Now we have swapped those two elements. Let's look at the next two elements. One, index 1 and index 2. 7 is less than 12. So for this pair, 7 and 12, they are in the correct positions. 12 should come after 7 because it's greater than 7, so it's fine. So there is no swapping to be done in this case. Let's see what the next two elements we are going to compare are. So this time we are going to compare element at index 2 and element at index 3. 12 is greater than 8. So we want 12 to come after 8. But it's not in the correct order as of now. So what will we do? We will swap these elements. Let's look at the next set of elements we are going to compare. We are going to compare the elements at index 3 and index 4. 12 is greater than 3 and so we want 12 to come after 3. So we are going to swap these two elements. Once we swap these two elements, we will get an array which looks like this. As you can see, once we have reached the end of the array, then the largest element is pushed to the last, last index of the array. So now we have placed the correct element in the last position. Now let's look at the next index, which is index 3. So now within this range from 0 to 3, we will push the la largest element to the last index within this range. We are going to do the same set of steps. We will compare 2 and 7, they are in the correct order. We will compare 7 and 8, they are in the correct order. We will compare 8 and 3, they are not in the correct order, so we will swap. And that's how we can get 8 to the last index of this range. So the second last 
the second largest element in the array is going to be pushed to the second last index in the array. Once we do that, we will get an array which looks like this. As you can see, 8 and 12 are now in the correct positions. Then we will do the same process for this range. So we are going to compare 2 and 7, they are in the correct order. Then we compare 7 and 3, they are not in the correct order and so we will swap. After pushing the largest element to the end of this range, we will get an array which looks something like this. Now 7, 8 and 12 have come to their correct positions. So now the range in which we must push the largest element to the end is going to be this. Now we compare 2 and 3, they are in the correct order. So there is no swapping to be done. So once that has been completed and we know that no swapping is to be done, we get an array which looks like this. Now 3, 7, 8 and 12 have all come to their correct positions. When we place all but one element in their correct positions, we can assume that automatically that last element is going to be placed in its correct position. As you can see, 2, it was not pushed in an array to the end at any point of time, but it has arrived at its correct position. So this is how bubble sort is going to sort an array of numbers. It's going to take the largest element within a range and push it to the end of that range. One by one elements will be falling into their correct positions. From the last index to the last index but 1 to the last index but 2 and it goes on. Finally, when we have put all the elements but 1 into the correct positions, we can assume that the last element which we have not checked has automatically come to their correct position. And with this, we will sort the array. This is how bubble sort functions.